Hamas says it has accepted an Egyptian Qatari proposal for a ceasefire to pause the war in Gaza. The announcement came hours after Israel ordered around 100,000 Palestinians to evacuate from the eastern Rafah region, signaling a possible ground invasion. Tensions worsened Sunday after Hamas fired rockets at Israeli troops, killing four soldiers. The troops were positioned on the border with Gaza near a main crossing for delivering humanitarian aid. Details of the ceasefire proposal have not been made public and Israel has not commented on the deal. Recent discussions between Egyptian officials and Hamas suggested a phased ceasefire involving the release of hostages by Hamas and Israeli troop pullbacks in Gaza. Allies of Israel, including the U.S., have raised concerns over the looming invasion of Rafah, which currently has roughly 1.4 million Palestinians there, most of whom have come to the region in the months since the war began. President Biden reiterated these concerns during a call Monday with Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu. Humanitarian organizations have warned of worsening conditions and more civilian deaths in an already devastated Gaza. The UN Relief and Works Agency refused to evacuate the area and said it will continue providing aid to those remaining. A ceasefire between the two sides has been challenging. Hamas insists on a complete Israeli withdrawal and an end to the conflict, while Israel vows to continue its campaign to dismantle Hamas. Kara Rucker, Straight Arrow News.